Do you want to talk about land masses? Let's talk about land masses then. First, we had Pangaea. This turned into what we now know as the seven modern continents, being North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, which happened due to a big shift known as plate tectonics. A big comparison between all these continents would be the plate tectonics and the land masses that form naturally. The kind of plate tectonics that allowed the continents to move would be diversion boundaries, which you know allowed them to pull apart. Now, within each of these continents, there's some form a mountain or such that was actually not diverging boundaries, but converging boundaries, which was a collision of plates. Let's start with North America, which was 9.54 million miles squared in size and holds Yellowstone, which is home of the super volcano, which, you know, was made also with plate tectonics. Now we have South America, which was 6.88 million miles squared, and where the Andes Mountain lay, as said before, was also made with plate tectonic movement. Specifically, the convergent boundary is not divergent. All right, now it's Antarctica, which only has a size of 5.405 million miles squared, but is covered with a lot of ice formations and glaciers. So, there's a big mountain to be made, which is called Mount Kirkpatrick. Europe is the second smallest in size, being about 3.931 million miles squared. It has also shared itself with a mountain with Asia, being the Euro Mountains. Asia is the biggest of them all, and is 17.21 million miles squared in size, and has the biggest mountain in the world, being Mount Everest. Asia always has all the fun. Africa is second largest in size, and is only about 11.67 million miles squared. That's big, but sadly it's mountainism, which is Mount Kilimanjaro. Still a pretty big mountain though. Lastly, there is Australia, which tops in at the smallest only being about 2.97 million miles in size. And the biggest mountain they have is Mount Kosciuszko. I'm Jalen, and I'm out. See you.